beautiful. Okay, so first things first. I want this low, but just mildly low, but not too low. I might, uh, I might adjust this depending on how it looks in game. Futures Institute of Technology. The Sumaragi Group is the largest corporation in the country, and the fruits of their cutting-edge research are gathered inside. If they're hiding it anywhere, it would be here. My organization, Shadow Yakumo, has already done everything they could to deal with the situation through legitimate means. But Sumaragi insisted on feigning ignorance from start to finish. Don't take this personally, Sumaragi. It's the secret you're keeping that's to blame. Kirin, Battle Priestess of Shadow Yakumo, moving out! Might be some dog barking in the background, which would actually be kind of appropriate right now. Nothing to mess around with. Even so, this thing isn't going to keep me from completing my mission. Kirin, Battle Priestess of Shadow Yukumo, coming through! Hoorah. The barrier nullifies all ballistic impacts from the outside. Looks like normal attacks won't have any effect. I bet if I can attach enough talismans to it, my staff can break through. Might be a little bit too transparent. Jeez. Dangerous secret. Thank if you. This facility is actually clean. Shadow Yakuma will have a lot of explaining to do. This feels pretty great so far. No way things here are on the up and up. Sounds like their secret is in a pretty bad mood. Looks like I still missed something. Yeah, baby. They have awful taste in laser traps, but I won't let that stop me from getting through here. I said that I'd adjust this a little bit. I think it's that right there, really. Stuff like this takes me back to my early training days at Shadow Yukumo. That looks like we're good on that. Need to be careful not to step on any spiky floors. They won't take me down in one hit, but they really suck and really hurt. I can jump in the middle of a dash. I can jump further than normal. Just like... Whoosh! Huh. 
Tell you what, this feels great so far. According to the mission briefing, it should be located in the deepest section of the basement. I really, I really wanted to get that. I'm getting some real bad vibes. They keep getting stronger. I guess the primal dragon's close. This thing's called a hexapile, I think. I love how fast she's able to throw those car uh, talismans. Excuse me, I was about to say No cars. doubt about it. That is a massive amount of glaives. Ugh, these guys have no idea how much trouble it was to forge all those swords. Looks like it really was here. Huh? What's this about? Uh, who are you? Primal dragons, monsters awakened to power beyond Septimas, ascending even adepts. I heard it was bad, but that thing doesn't even look human anymore. <laughs> Barging in here like that? <laughs> rude, e expediently rude, I say. What in tarnation do you want? I am Kirin from Shadow Yakumo. I'm here to clean up the mess you made. If you want to leave here alive, I suggest you get out while you still can. Shadow Yakumo? The ones who control the glaives? Did they figure out that our reply was less than honest? But, but I must say, we haven't done anything wrong. Without all these glaives, we'd never be able to keep him in check. The glaives aren't capable of suppressing this much power. He broke the seal? This never came up in our simulations. <laughs> As always, our soothsayer's prediction was right on time. Too on time, if you ask me. If we had this prediction sooner, things could have been much less messy. Oh well. Hey you, Lord of Dragons! I'll take that power and bind it properly with my radiant fetters. Your fate is sealed! surface the entire time it was sealed away. If you had simply come clean with us, we could have worked together on this. None of this would have needed to happen. <laughs> hey, take it easy. I got this. Using my radiant fetter septima, I'll have no problem stopping you. Plus, I'm looking forward to hearing more of uh, Gunvolt himself too, because he's being he's voiced by uh, Sean Chiplock. If you play Breath of the Wild, he voiced uh, Revali in that game. Its power is weakening. Now's my chance.
What happened? I'm not berserk anymore. The glaives were only barely keeping me in check. Azure Striker Gunvolt, former primal dragon and wielder of the world's most powerful Septima. You must take responsibility for what is about to occur, Gunvolt. Responsibility? About to occur? Who are you? I'm Kieran of Shadow Yakumo, and I'm here to borrow your power. Got four stars instead of five, but that's fine. I think I did pretty good for that one. Very nice. I know Lumen's always guaranteed because of because of uh, plot reasons. changed forever when humans with strange new powers known as Septimus began to appear. As more of these adepts appeared, the world was thrown into chaos. In our country, the Sumeragi group used technology to bring peace and order while seizing power. However, they were only able to maintain that illusory peace through human experiments on countless numbers of adepts. Perhaps it was inevitable that a group of rebels would appear to fight against Sumeragi and their artificial peace. Even I, Gunvolt, once counted myself among the members of a rebel group. The battle was long and grueling. When it was over, I found myself awakened to a new power that was a step above Septimus. The Primal Dragon. Its power is both dangerous and uncontrollable. I surrendered to Sumeragi, my enemy. By using me as a research subject, they were able to seal away the out-of-control power. But... It was only a matter of time before such a shoddily constructed seal would break. Our soothsayer at Shadow Yakumo gave a single prediction just the other day, actually. They said the primal dragons and the ruler who creates and controls them would appear. You think I'm the ruler of the primal dragons? Yep, but it's gonna be okay. Because my radiant fetter Septima was able to completely seal away your primal dragon. Of course, now we have a new problem on our hands. Sumaragi totally cornered the energy market while you were sealed away. They were using the crazy amounts of energy you were leaking to provide electricity to the entire country. They even called their energy division Gunvolt Electric. They're probably regretting that one now. I should have trademarked it. The energy you gave off was also emitting dragon radiation. That's energy waves that can turn other adepts into primal dragons. Are you serious? Just a little exposure doesn't seem to be a problem. That's why no one noticed how dangerous dragon radiation was until now. Many decades have passed since you were sealed away. After all that time being exposed to dragon radiation, primal dragons are starting to appear among the adept population. Gunvolt, you may not have meant to cause this problem, but you will help me solve it. I will have you work with me as I seal away these primal dragons. No objections here. If this is my sin, I will atone for it. But... Oh, 
Why exactly have I turned into this dog thing? Mm -hmm. So, after the fight with Keating, I briefly returned to my original form, but almost immediately after, I turned into this. <sighs> I have no idea either. This is my first time sealing a primal dragon after all. I didn't know my fetters could cause something like this. Maybe it's because you were a primal dragon for so long? <laughs> it's a good look on you, though. Very cute. Anyway, thanks to our negotiations with Sumaragi, you and I will be joining the Sumaragi group as legitimate employees. Gotta have Sumaragi take responsibility for their actions, right? The Bureau of Dragon Saviors. An anti-primal dragon task force with just two members. I can't believe they agreed to this. Hey, Kirin, what gives? I even look like a dog on my company ID. <laughs> oh, that's weird, huh? <clears throat> you gotta be kidding me. <sighs> Poor guy. Getting used to life at Sumeragi? Hey Lumen, it's pretty amazing here. There's some real state-of-the-art tech that's even nicer than what Shadow Yukumo has. I'm a little jealous. <laughs> you know I'm a part of that state-of-the-art tech, right? Come on, you're still your own Septima. You're just pretending to be their technology. That's right. Lumen is the latest model of AI idol developed by Sumeragi. That's what they tell the public, at least. The truth is that she was created by Kirin and I combining our septimas to make an image pulse. My Azure Striker can give a physical form to images based on memories of adepts I've encountered in the past. However, since adepts themselves are so complex, the image dissipates almost immediately. That's when we use talismans prepared by Kirin's radiant fetters as a medium. The image is then sealed in place, creating an image pulse. Naturally, a recreated Septima is no match for the real thing, but we can still use a variety of Septimal powers. There are many kinds of image pulses, such as passive ones that enhance one's abilities, as well as skills that resemble those of the original adept. To acquire an image pulse, we need to find image fragments called image chips during missions. Picking them up will earn us image pulses once the mission is complete. Come to think of it, why don't you try equipping that image pulse we just got? You can equip it by opening the menu and selecting it on the passive image pulse screen. With that equipped, you'll be able to use my privation ability. Got it. I'll be able to give it a try later. It's so strange though. Every other image pulse we created hasn't said a thing. Then there's Lumen, acting like she's living and breathing. I can't be sure of the cause, but for a while, Lumen was a part of me. I was eventually able to release her, but that might have something to do with it. I guess. She was someone really important to you, right? Maybe that's why. Anything is possible. Alrighty, so before we do anything else, I'm going to go here. Special skills. Yeah, the menu, how to play. Yeah, sure, I'll take it. Actually, no, I'm fine by that. So that's just for pervasion. I will definitely take that. I want to see how well I could do with that anyway. Take that. Lumen was a popular virtual idol before I was even born, right? 
I bet no one would have guessed that she was a Septima. Lumen's identity was top secret. Only a few of Sumeragi's top brass knew the truth. We can thank them for allowing Lumen here to operate as a reboot of the original one. Don't you mean the long-awaited remodel, Lumen version 2.0? Either way, it's great having you around. The Bureau of Dragon Saviors is a brand new department here, and we're very combat-focused. A cute mascot like Lumen goes a long way to soften the opposition to us from inside and out. A cute mascot? I'm not just a pretty face, you know. Just who do you think is helping you search for signals of new primal dragons? And who else is going to show up in battle when you're totally out of HP and your fetters are about to wear off? Also, who keeps TV's rampage, mostly, under control? That's all thanks to my power. But it's not like you can always do that, right? Isn't it random? Don't take it too hard, Lumen. When I awaken with your power, I always feel stronger than ever. I don't know where I'd be without you. Well, that power is pretty close to a rampaging primal dragon, so we'd better not rely on it if we can help it. Well, when you put it that way, I guess I'll go work on a new theme song for the Dragon Saviors. Basically, you go god mode. I'm detecting a lot of dragon radiation downtown. This is more than I've ever felt before. So, a primal dragon has finally shown up. One that isn't me, I mean. Okay, I just contacted Sumaragi's peacekeepers. They should be able to evacuate the citizens from the area by the time we arrive. The guy on the line gave me an earful about deploying on Christmas Eve, though. Come on, let's stop that primal dragon. Holy Night 13, Dragons of Mendel and Wheel Rings. On the Holy Night, Lone Reaper of Revels in Chaos, Chanting Curses at World Unjust. Oh right, the other Pokemon you're referring to is a uh, Kabalion. You okay, Kitty? This must be a walk in the park for you if you're already worrying about me. The Azure Striker sure is something. <sighs> That's not true. Okay, fine. Just focus on the mission, okay? I'm gonna keep you busy with my new technique. Yeah, no problem. Let's go. Kirin, Battle Priestess of Shadow Yakumo slash Sumaragi. Moving out! Seems like the citizens were able to evacuate safely. This primal dragon picked a terrible night to show up. Santa's got his work cut out for him. Let's go! I didn't mean to hit that. Divine ruin heresy. Oh well. Uh... Perish. Sumeragi's peacekeepers are going berserk. It's weak. Uh, uh, the energy I'm sensing from you is the same as the primal dragon. It's not just the humans. Even the robots are going crazy. Oh man, you don't know how good that feels to do that. How did this happen? I know this is a lot for you, but you gotta focus, Gunvolt. If you don't, you could lose your only chance to fix this. That device there is a chain mail. Shadow Yakumo set them up to assist battle priestesses in their duties. I can use chain lamps as anchors for my arc chain. Hit it with a talisman, then use arc chain. Are getting used to using pervasion? Pervasion will use your talismans to automatically avoid attacks. So it's incredibly useful. Just be aware that talismans used up by pervasion won't replenish over time. You need to quickly press down twice to restore your talismans when they run out. 
Keep that in mind. Talismans are crucial to my offensive abilities as well, so I need to stay on top of them. At first glance, this may appear to be a dead end, but that won't stop this battle, Priestess. Use your arch chain to get some air. Then hit the next chain lamp with a talisman. Just keep using your arch chain repeatedly to climb up. Oops. No. Wait, let me see if I can do this real quick. Yeah. You got this. Urban defense installations are going to be in peak condition, I'd be able to use my Azure Striker to neutralize them. But... There's no time to worry about that crap. We just gotta work together and cut our way through. You're right. It doesn't matter how we do it, as long as we get the job done. Huh? Huh? Hey, Kitty, I was wondering, what exactly are those chain lamps? The principle behind them is similar to hexapiles. Originally, they were information terminals meant for Shadow Yakuma members to access data. But let's just say, everyone has their own way of using them. What? Should you really be breaking them like that? They have self-repair modules that will have them fixed up in no time. Just gotta make sure no one finds out. Don't blame me if you end up with a massive repair bill. It seems that dispatching the peacekeepers was... Let's go! Gunball! Hitting 90 second right! Divine Ruin Heresy! Sorry, sorry if I'm not saying much. This is, uh... What against us here? This feels really good right now. They did manage to evacuate the citizens in time. Hey, TV! Instead of blaming yourself, let's get the situation under control here. Try to keep up! You two are right. I need to keep my head in the game. Easy, easy. There's a hexapile down here. All right. Let's bust through and keep going. This is one tough security shutter. Busting it open would be a waste of time. Time to unleash your power, Gunball. This is unbelievable. The tower was so unstable before, but now I can control Boom, slam dunk, baby. That's all thanks to my radiant fetter. I can use my seal to adjust the output of your Azure Striker and stabilize it. You better be grateful. I have a... My body feels so light. I have perfect air control as well. You should be able to jump anywhere you want now. Gotta make sure I'm nearby, though. I used to need special equipment to do this. But I... It looks like you're in peak condition, but your body is really overflowing with thermal energy. No, not at all. Maybe because of the Primal Dragon transformation. It's as if my flash field is deploying unconsciously. But hey, my flash field protects me from certain attacks, so it's not so bad to have during missions. If you're not worrying about it... I can use my darts to teleport just like your archer. Anything you can do, I should be able to imitate myself. That way you won't have to worry about me as you traverse an area. You can use your power in the first place, so it looks like you kind of float through the air when you're releasing your electricity. Is it only your ball somehow? Yep. The magnetic field forms underneath me while I'm electrified and causes me to fall more slowly. I can use my hovering ability and tandem with mid-air jumps to get over the nasty terrain. Feel free to rely on me when the time comes. That's insanely useful. Guess I'll keep that in mind. So when you dash into an enemy, you get to walk onto them and it doesn't even hurt you? You hardly can do it all, huh? Well, it's... 
Over Surge and Sure Striker! Not like I can do anything. I just copy the moves of a non addict I fought a long time ago. A non addict can move like that? You can't do anything. It's true. It can bounce off walls and ceilings and seriously break their speeds. What was it called again? You know, that weird little attack of yours? You mean the Voltaic Buster? It's an attack specially designed to take down a single target without a fail. Really? That brutal? Sure looks like overkill from where I'm standing. Against a simple defense droid, it may seem that way. Even with your full power release, my fetters were able to keep you from going berserk. We should still be careful going forward, though. Using your power will drain the fetters gauge from now on. The fetters gauge represents the stability of my seal on your power. You could also think of it as your stamina. It will decrease pretty slowly when you're doing nothing, but it'll drain very quickly when using pervasion or powerful attacks. But don't you worry. If it runs out, you'll just return to your doggy form. You won't go berserk or anything. Got it. I'll keep it in mind. I'd prefer to stay in this form if at all possible. Aw, too bad. I like your doggy form better. It's all fluffy and stuff. The better gauge will recover as long as I'm in the front doing the fighting, so we'll work more efficiently by taking turns. However, I can't switch places with you until the fetter gauge is at least 100% full. We just can't take any chances with your power. Don't forget that. Understood. I'll do whatever I can to assist, even if it's only for a short time. Also, if you really want to keep the gauge up, press down twice and keep it held the second time. You can concentrate your energy to keep the gauge from decreasing. You won't be able to move, but you'll still evade enemy attacks with pervasion. So it might come in handy at the right time. I will be giving that a try. I'll need some time to adjust to this, but I'll keep it in mind when I want to preserve the fetters gauge. Huh? <laughs> Coming through! Huh? <laughs> Sensing something. Yo, babe. How you doing? You picked a fine day to take your dog for a walk. Why is a cutie like you out all by yourself? I'll be damned. It speaks. This is very different from your situation, Gunvolt. Come on now. We were just having a nice chat here. Why you gotta bring up some other dude's name? Because he's right next to her. The name's Black Badge. How about you and me paint the town red on this holy night? Sorry, I'm not into smooth talkers like you. Besides, you're a wanted man. Ouch, total ice queen. You're just gonna diss me like that? always like that, huh? Nobody gives a damn about me. That's it. I've had it! I'm gonna destroy everything on this holy night! I can't stand any of ya! Lift it up, everybody! This is an announcement! Christmas is officially cancelled! Hip pass hit the bricks! All you head turning ladies and gents are in for a rough night! All you happy couples get a ticket for a romantic cruise straight to hell! This guy's all over the place. He's definitely gone to third, but seems like he might still have a piece of himself. Has he lost control of his emotions? I'll waste ya! How it is. Awesome. You totally got turned out for a Christmas date, didn't you? Well, you're like the ultimate awesome. buzzkill. That's why you're still single. Mm. The dragon radiation is causing him to go out of control. It's not his fault. Hey, who are you calling out of control? My school is a cucumber, you handsome jock. I'm gonna beat you senseless until you learn some respect. 
Sheesh! You're behind the times, Primal Dragon. My fetters will be the kill 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 you need. Your fate is sealed. This is so not over yet. Now I'm seeing red! Yeah, procession! I don't need no messiah! Merry Christmas! <laughs> Got ya! This'll do it! How's that? <laughs> Got Lumen. Quit me. Put Christmas out to pasture once and for all? My pleasure. This is gonna be off the hook. She revived? How is that possible? It doesn't matter. I gotta steal it first. I'll leave it for you. Overserge and your striker! Mega Ultra Palmer. So that thing with the reviving can actually help uh, happen to us too, but the fact that it happened to somebody else this early in the game is nothing but uh, nothing but good news. Nothing but good news. What's better than one gun vault? Two gun vaults. Let's see if it keeps happening that way. Was that another Muse Septima like you, Lumen? No, I can tell it's a different energy from the Muse. The two abilities are pretty similar, but I think this one's a different type. Is there someone attempting to manipulate the primal dragons? I sure hope not. Hey, my bad. I didn't realize I was crashing here so long. BB was kept under close observation, but after a thorough inspection, his results were no different from any other normal adept. He also claimed to know nothing about that Septima that resembled the Muse. I thought you were a real piece of work during our fight, but now you seem like a fine guy. Wait, for real? Hell yeah. You think I'm fine? Yeah, sure. You aren't the total ladies' man you think you are, though. Ouch! Oh, blow! So that's how it is. But, okay, hear me out. Are you guys always dealing with this dragon radiation and primal dragon stuff? This was actually the first time the Bureau of Dragon Saviors has deployed, but yeah. 
From here on out, we will be dealing with that stuff. It's part of our duties here. After seeing what the Dragon Radiation did to the Peacekeepers, I'm sure of one thing. Only I, with my Radiant Fetters, can seal the power of the Primal Dragons without succumbing to Dragon Radiation. Yeah, I don't vibe with that at all. You two are just gonna work yourselves to death like that? No way! Besides, I got some amends to make. Come on, let me on your team! Thanks to your fetters thing, I shouldn't have another dragon problem, right? Hmm... Sure, that's fine. Welcome aboard, Black Badge. Just like that? You sure about this, Kitty? There's only so much we can do with just you and me. I'll take any help we can get. If a cat walked in here now, I'd hire them. Oh, hey! I'm even better than a cat. Unless, of course, you need a cat. Please don't do it. Meow. Meow. Actually, the position is filled. I was just joshing, pulling your leg. Anyway, you two just feel free to call me BB. Let's do this. Hey, BB, seeing your Septima gave me an idea for a new way to use my fetters. Hot ah, dang! I actually did you a solid? That's dope! Yeah, your Septima did at least. I can hold down the button and release it to throw even more powerful talismans. Hold and release? So your fetters got a charge shot? That seems like it's real handy dandy. It's not quite as powerful as that, but I can use it together with regular talismans to take down tough opponents. What year is he from? There we go. Now we can act now we can check our, our stuff here. And Lumen's just chilling in the background while uh, BB's at the desk. Feather shares by 40%. I'll take it. Um, because I'm spamming those things like crazy. Oh. Huh? Uh oh, phone call. Hold on, let me take this real quick. Okay, I actually forgot to mute myself there, but that's alright. What it, wait, what does that say? Scatters presents like Santa on Christmas. Oh, lovely. Um, 